Capricorn to your mid-month reading for June. Hope everybody is doing great out there. <clears throat> welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. Okay, Cap, let's see what's going on in your energy. This is what you are feeling, thinking and feeling. Okay. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Let's get going. Let's see what is going on with Capricorn. Okay. So, the Four of Cups in reverse. So, Four of Cups in reverse. It's making us think that there's new possibilities, new approaches to old problems. Are you looking for approaches to old problems in new ways? Um, let's see. Let's see what your Oracle card says. Something is going on. Definitely. It has to do with problems. What's going on with Capricorn? Four of Cups. Clarify on the Four of Cups, please. You are taking a stand. Standing your ground. Okay, so you are taking a stand. Standing your ground. Okay, let's see what's going on. We're actually going to... Do it this way, Cap, here, because it's still set up for my spiritual growth reading, so it seems a little off to me. It seems a little strange. Okay, each reading has different ways of doing things. It just makes me feel a little imbalanced there, having them not together perfectly. Okay, so... Okay, in the present, you have the wisdom... In the past, you have the, the victory and success upside down. And in the near future, you have the triumph. So let's clarify on the wisdom over here with another oracle card. Wisdoms of, okay, of obstacles and challenges. In the past, it's the root chakra, the base chakra, getting back to your roots, uh, what you have, understanding what you have, and triumph and success with the third eye open. Oh, I can see the triumph and success. I can see what's going on around me. Very nice. Okay, so let's clarify. I think we have enough room. Yep, there we go. Okay. So going to the past over here, it says you have no victory and no success. <clears throat> you know you didn't have victory success. You can feel it. You know it. Um, you're trying to get back to your basic groundings is what I'm thinking faith, relationship, having no victory and success within a relationship, knowing that your relationship, um, you have a relationship, but it's not going in the, in the ways that you want it to, right? With the knight of swords upside down, someone is being slanderous. Somebody is, um, maybe huh, talking nasty to someone else, uh, could be you doing that to them. Um, or them doing it to you. King of Wands, are you dealing with a Sagittarius or just a fire sign? Uh, Aries, a Sag, or a Leo? Um, knowing that you're trying to take back control, understanding what's going on in your life, understanding what's going on within this relationship. <clears throat> Page of Wands, this is going to come up showing us that this is your person for a lot of you. Um, if it's not, it's just the energy that they are taking on and spirit wants us to know this is going to be your person. We're going to, spirit is going to use the fire sign as your person in this reading. Okay. You also could be dealing with a Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. Doesn't have to be though. Or a Taurus up there. That we have Taurus. But spirit says we're going to use your person as a fire sign so that way we understand who's who in this reading. Okay, so, yeah, they are looking out. <laughs> Your person's looking out. Um, you're trying to take control, trying to stabilize a situation 
you're trying to understand what is going on. It looks like you're taking this super serious. Um, you're listening to the things that they are saying. You're not liking what they are saying. And you feel like they are in La La Land. Okay. They are in La La Land and you could even be a little confused. Like I said, a lot of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Now we have two Sagittarius and, and <clears throat> in Aries um, for this fire sign. But it is not the perfect timing. It is not balanced. There is no healing within this relationship. It looks like you may have been trying to put some healing, trying to do things in this relationship to keep it the way it should be. Um, does it have to be a lover? No, it could be a friendship, just somebody that is really close to you that you consider within a relationship. Um, yeah, and you see that it is not moving forward the way you want it to, to move forward. Okay, it looks like they may have brought some drama, and here comes that confusion, as I said before. Um, yeah, and it looks like they're, they're literally bringing some confusion and some drama to this current, oh, this current situation in the past. Um, it looks like over here you're going to get some wisdom over here. You're tired of their drama. You're tired of the confusion. You're tired of the situation. Um, like I said, you were thinking seriously about what is going on around you. Um, I actually do kind of believe that this, <laughs> this nasty words that are coming through could be yourself. Uh, you might have been kind of uh, silver-tonguing them, to say. Kind of uh, cutting them <laughs> with your swords. Uh, maybe they started it and then you like finished it, right? You're like, nope, I'm going to finish this. So <clears throat> over here in the present, you have the wisdom and you're really thinking about these obstacles and challenges that you're going through with this person and you're just really tired of it, right? You're seeing that this is a loss and you're actually, um, it feels to me like you're going to cut these people out or this person out of your life, you're, it no longer serves you, so you're going to make it the death, okay? But it looks also like you might also be taking a transformation from this with sitting over here with the wisdom. You're thinking about ways to heal, ways of understanding things. You have the 100% realization of what's going on around you, and you're done with the pain. Yeah, there's no achievement in this relationship. It feels like you were trying to make things work, but then things were just not working the way you wanted them to work. You were, it even feels like you're walking away. Yeah, you don't see the love within this relationship anymore. So you're walking away from this person. They hurt you. They said some nasty things. Like I said, you might even backlash at them and you're just like, I don't think this person is worth it anymore. They brought too much drama. You, you got the logical thinking going on over here. So, yeah, you're done. You're escaping this situation. It's like you're taking everything you have, everything that you gave to them. You're now taking back and you're saying, I'm done. I don't think this is worth it. No, definitely cutting their head off. And when you walk away, you're not very nice about it because you really want them to understand how much they hurt you and how much you did not appreciate. I also feel the, like taken for granted. Yeah, I keep hearing the words taken for granted. They took you for granted. Lots of miscommunication. It's almost like you were very serious about what was going on and they weren't very serious and they were taking you for granted in this situation. And the more they, they kept trying to do the things that they were doing to you, you were trying to fix it and it just was not. It's kind of like, do you want this to work or not? And then this miscommunication kept coming back up and you're just like, you know what? I'm not communicating with you anymore. 
mixed signals, mixed signals. That's what the, that's what the miscommunication is, mixed signals. They were giving you missed signals. Okay, so within all the mixed signals, you're just like, <laughs> from in the past, you're just like, I'm done now. Yeah, I'm not working on this anymore. <clears throat> okay. So in the near future over here, you have the triumph and the victory. Um, you do feel like you have victory. You're waving your flag. You're telling them, I'm done. Don't worry about anything. I'm not writing you anymore. I'm not working on this anymore. You don't need to try to give me mixed signals. You don't need to try to do anything because I'm done. I can see exactly what's going on. You can see their ego. Or you're becoming very egomatic. That's that's a Capricorn card. So you're becoming kind of egomatic in your own ways. Why? Because you took this transformation. You took the loss of the relationship and knew that it was over. You took also this growth and this transformation towards yourself. I know that because you have the death and the transformation card with the realization. Um, that's deep growth realization. And, you know, to me, that's like the overall realization of like, whoa. I'm using my higher self, my intuition, to see exactly what's going on. Um, that's why I keep thinking they're taking advantage of you. And so, yeah, you're kind of, you know, you have the victory and you can see things, but you are kind of in your own ego here, Capricorn, because you're not, you're actually, that's where you're standing your ground. Your ego is a little high You're because you're ready to go. You have the communication of understanding what is going on within yourself. You don't need the communication of this person anymore because every time they say something, it's I say this, and they say that, and then they say this. What they say one thing and then they do another. So, <clears throat> yeah. So now you're having the communications within your higher self and the realizations of saying, "Yeah, I can. I'm going to start a new beginning for myself." This doesn't have any hope in dreams. There's no hopes and dreams with you because you're not playing. It's almost like they're not playing fair in some ways, right? Because if they're telling you, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that, and then they're not working on it, but yet you are working on it, then where's the balance? There's no balance. So you have to take on the new beginnings and the new realizations of understanding this person is not working with me. It's very imbalanced. It's very unfair. And it's, you know, it's giving, it was giving me 10 of swords. So yeah, in the near future, you're just like, I'm not going to do this. I will find somebody else who does not break my heart. I'll find somebody who wants to offer me the things that I deserve. And yeah, definitely deserve with the Nine of Cups. You have your own achievements, your own plans, your own future. And this is what really the realization is, is that this person is not going to grow with you. This person is not going to help you. This person does not have any stability. And it might even be just... Um, mental stability or even emotional stability to want to be a part of my world. And I don't have time for that. No, I'm standing my ground. There it is again. And so I'm standing my ground for myself. And if this is um, not a love relationship for you guys, it could be that you there was a job that you were at that you're just done with and it was unfair the way they were treating you. Um, maybe they weren't giving you the hours that you needed and you just, you're done with them. You know, you're totally done with them. Okay. And you're just like, I'm done. I'm not working here anymore. You're mistreating me. The miscommunications of telling me, you know, these are the hours I'm supposed to have. And then you turning around and saying, no, I'm not going to give you those hours. I'm going to give you these hours instead. So it's almost like they were going against the grain right, of what you were supposed to do, or maybe there was, um, maybe they were making you do jobs that you, like, that's not in my job description, that's not what I'm supposed to do, you know, they're making you do things that were not a part of your job description, and you're like, that's not what I do, I'm not your freaking maid, okay, I'm here to, you know, I'm not here to just clean the store, Okay, I wasn't made as the, you know, I wasn't here hired as the maintenance cleanup service. Okay, the cleaning crew, I was here to do such and such a thing. 
right? And for some reason, they're making you do these odd jobs that you were not um, supposed to be doing. But yet they're treating you like that was a part of your job description. That's for somebody. Okay, so let's see what's going on over here. Sorry, guys, I don't have all my cards up. I should have got them out. It's because I was doing uh, chakras and spiritual growth earlier. So I will have those out for you guys soon. I already have your spiritual growth out. If you guys haven't seen that, check it out. Just talking exactly about transform, uh, transforming. Angel Romance cards. Yeah, no matter what, don't let this person get you down. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Don't let this person, you know, make you not, op you know, optimistic towards the next person. It's just really no, no reason. There was a separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. If you haven't done so, it could be happening. Retreat. Uh-oh. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Okay. And yes, sorry, for some others of you, you're going to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. And that could even come to the conclusions of, you know... I'm over here working with you, and this could be when you're actually cutting their head off. So it almost feels like, yeah, you already had the heart-to-heart -heart conversation, or it is coming right now in mid-month, and uh, I don't know. It just feels like you're going to cut their head off during this, like it's not going to go your way. It didn't work. The communication didn't work the way it was supposed to, but you're still supposed to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. But maybe that was just faded or something because then it makes you understand that's where the real wisdom starts really coming through that they're not going to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation with me but i think the reason it really comes up is because then it makes you really understand that you know maybe this isn't where i need to be for myself right it's like i'm trying to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you and you're still miscommunicating with me and then it causes the separation it's really what I'm feeling, and uh, but I think the heart-to-heart -heart conversation is actually going to open you up to make you understand, oh, you know, this isn't where it needs to be, and then for some of you, you're just going to have this, like, okay, fine, I'm just going to take this victory for myself, stand my ground, and figure out what I'm going to do, right? But I think that heart-to-heart -heart really is going to be good for um, your soul to understand and allow healing process to happen so that you don't, you know, um, have so much pain, you know, heart pain, okay? Because it's going to bring this third, it's going to make this third eye open, okay? And this is where you're going to really grab your ego. And it, just because it's ego doesn't mean it always has to be a bad thing. Sometimes we need that ego to keep us strong. That's why it's built there, right? It's not always a negative it's that piece that keeps that overconfidence inside yourself to say, you know what? I'm not going to do that anymore. So sometimes it's not negative. It's what builds us and keeps us strong. <clears throat> okay. Standing up for yourself. This is, your soul wants you to know voyage. I am safe and loved no matter where I am. So no matter how they treat you or what you're doing, you're always loved. No matter what. And that's where you're also going to find that ego within yourself. So build that ego. Make sure you understand that just because this person couldn't treat you right doesn't mean, you know, that, you know, that you um, cannot be loved. And let's see what animal card you have. Oh, look at that. The tiger. Wow, that just flipped. Okay. 
Tiger, accept your magnificence. That's from the Archangel Raphael. So how powerful is that, right? That is just telling you, <laughs> you are loved, you are powerful, you are magnificent, no matter where you are, who you are at that time. If you're feeling down, you know, you're feeling, you know, like, you know, maybe you're, you know, being a silver tongue and then you come out of it and you're like, wow, who was I, you know, at that time? It's okay. You were standing your ground. You're still magnificent. You were showing that power that you need within yourself. Okay. Sometimes we need that power so that we can stand for up for ourselves. So if you start getting silver tongue and then you come back out of it and you're like, whoa, that was kind of, you know, witchy, right? No, you were magnificent. You were a tiger claw right there. You were like clawing someone's eyes out. <laughs> okay, but it's for yourself. There was a reason, right? There was a reason because you, otherwise this person was just treating you like crap. And it was like, you have to understand, I'm not just somebody you can walk over. I'm a tiger. Okay, and I'm going to show you what a tiger can do. Okay, so that was your reading for you, Capricorn. And if you like that, please uh, like and subscribe and leave your comments. I love reading your guys' comments. Peace and love, my friends. Bye-bye.